What's up guys, welcome to week 6 of the GPL, the Generations Pokemon League. Today we are going to be taking on Cubawack and the LA Kingdras. So, with Cubawack, this was a very interesting team. Um, to be perfectly honest, I was most afraid of the Stack Attacka, the Mimikyu, and the Rotom Wash. So, it was kind of a scary battle uh, for me, for the most part. Um, I had a decent uh, counter against most of his Mons which was pretty good. I, I was expecting, to be perfectly honest, I was kind of hoping the stack attack would come out. I was hoping it was going to either be st with, like trying to set up a trick room or something along those lines. Uh, I was not really expecting the, the uh, Rotom to come out, but I also knew that it was probably going to be going for some kind of like Volt Switch, probably. I figured it would probably have Volt Switch, um, I wasn't sure how much damage that would do against uh, Tap Water, but we did bring... Uh, I mainly brought Tap Water out because none of his Mons would have been a threat. Um, I would have been able to Nature's Madness, whatever came out either way, uh, other than like all of his Mons would have been hit by it. Uh, it would have been decent for the Mimikyu, it would have gotten the Disguise down. Uh, he probably would have been able to have gotten a Sword Stance up though, or a Substitute, so I was a little afraid of that. But other than that, um, there wasn't really much I could do against the Rotom, so I decided I was just going to end up switching into Jirachi. Uh, Jirachi was our best bet. Um, it, as it turns out, he did switch out. He went into DJ, which he was probably expecting me to switch to, so he was hoping I would go into something. I'm not sure what he was expecting, but I go for a Drain Punch with the Choice Scarf on Atlas. We get the Oko. Um, Atlas is max attack and max speed. He is... Choice Scarfed with Drain Punch, Ice Punch, I think it said Ice Punch, Drain Punch, Zen Headbutt, Iron Head, and I think it was uh, Ice Punch, I didn't see it right there, but uh, Atlas was unfortunately Choice, so I knew whatever came in might be an issue. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go for another Drain Punch, a Drain Punch probably would have killed, uh, it probably would have killed Sack Attacker from that point, but I wanted to just make sure that I would get a kill, so I went into Boiling Point to go for a Steam Eruption. He set up the Trick Room, which was a little scary. Um, this thing being a Rock-type, it was a potential threat. Could have Stone Edged, could have uh, done any like Rock-type move. I specifically went in to avoid a Gyro Ball. He goes for the Stone Edge and misses. That was probably a, kind of important. We go for the Steam Eruption, quad effective. Uh, Boiling Point has a Life Orb and his mass, max special attack. So it completely demolishes uh, Stack Attacka. I guess I'm pretty sure Stack Attacka doesn't have the best special defense. So hitting him on the special side was my best bet. Uh, he he goes in to Rodom Wash once again. There's not really anything I can do because Flamethrower and Steam Eruption are both resisted. Uh, at this point, my best bet is to either go into Solid Snake and hope for him to go for like an Electric type attack, which. I, in hindsight, I could have done. Uh, I was afraid of him possibly predicting going into Solid Snake. At this point, he probably knew like whatever came out wasn't probably going to, would more than likely not enjoy um, having get hit like by a any kind of electric attack. So I go into Luna, who completely swallows this Gigavolt Havoc. Um, unfortunately, I made the mistake of when I was making the uh, set that I forgot that. I copied over a, a, a set I was going to use against purple, which never happened. I copied it over and changed it to a salt vest, but I completely forgot to save over the fact that I changed uh, protect and toxic. I think I was going for lunar dance and light screen and or reflect. So fortunately I couldn't do that. Um, the Cubone came out, or the Marowak came out. Uh, there wasn't really any point in me switching out. Uh, Shadow Bone was going to do some decent damage, and I didn't really want to waste time switching into anybody else. So I let Luna go down. Luna wasn't really going to be able to do too much at that point. Um, I didn't really. Luna was kind of more so there to set up a reflect, but since the Mimikyu wasn't out yet, um, there wasn't really that much of a point because by the time it did come out, uh, the reflect would have worn off. Wouldn't have been really much to worry about. I didn't have a reflect to begin with, so. Uh, Psychic and Moonblast were all I had. Psychic could have done a little bit more damage, but uh, not having too much special defense or physical defense was not helping us. So I go for I go for Scald on the Marowak. He switches into Ronom again and eats the eats the Scald as usual, like as expected. 
at this point, um, with his Z-move gone, I'm not really too afraid of whatever electric type attacks he would have. So I go for Nature's Madness. He goes for a Volt Switch. At this point, I'm not sure what he's going to bring in, but Nature's Madness is going to cut anybody's health in half no matter what. And if he goes into the Mimikyu, it's going to get rid of its Disguise. So uh, luckily for us, uh, the Disguise is gone now, which is definitely really good. Um, at this point, I know that it's going to start setting up Sword Stances, but honestly, my best bet was to cut its health in half and see what happens from there. So that's exactly what I decided I should probably go for. Uh, it was really my best move. Uh, definitely, like, no matter what, there was no way he was going to start attacking full on. Uh, that thing definitely needed to have some kind of, like, sword stance up. Uh, he was probably hoping on being able to get a second one up, which is what he, exactly what he does. I go for a Scald. Scald, luckily for me, gets a crit and kills. I think the crit mattered. I definitely think the crit mattered in that certain situation. I'm not 100% sure if it would have killed or not. I don't know what its special defenses were. But um, I'm, I'm honestly going to say that the crit probably mattered. At this point, uh, there's not really much that the Rodom can do to my team. But to be safe, my best bet was probably to go into Atlas. Hopefully, Atlas would be able to just eat anything. At this point, Atlas can hit uh, both Marowak and Rodom with Zen Headbutt. So I start going for Zen Headbutts. Uh, the Guzzlord, if it had come out, probably wouldn't have helped. Uh, would have wouldn't have been able to take that too well or well you know atlas wouldn't be able to do too much so i go for zen head but i do get the flinch hacks uh i at that point uh i definitely think i probably would have lived just about any move he had uh other than possibly a hydro pump a hydro pump probably would have killed but at this point there's only so much he can do at this uh, like right now so i can either go for a zen head but i know this thing's probably not going to outspeed me since i still have the choice scarf and i max so, like, honestly, my best bet was to Zen Headbutt. So I go for Zen Headbutt. He gets a Flare Blitz, and Atlas goes down. He has a uh, Rock Head, so he doesn't take any recoil damage. At this point, um, I go into Solid Snake, because Solid Snake's going to eat it with Sturdy one way or the other. And an Earthquake will kill, and I don't have to risk any other attacks. And, like, at this point, Flare Blitz is the only attack that could kill. Uh, we eat it somehow. We don't even get down to the Sturdy, which is really, like, just thank God to the fact that... Uh, Solid Snake was max defense and whatnot. Uh, at this point, he only has the um, the Guzzlord left, so there's only really so much I can do. I'm not going to outspeed it, so I'm not really going to waste too much time with that. So uh, Solid Snake does go down just because, you know, there wasn't really much I could do. He gets the special attack boost, which wasn't really going to matter too much because I think all he had was, like, uh, Dark-type moves or Dragon-type moves anyways, but... Tap water out sped, and we got a clean win with the moon blast. So that was pretty good. Um, perfectly honest, uh, that was probably a lot better luck than I was expecting. I was definitely afraid of that Mimikyu. I was afraid that the Mimikyu was going to come out first and set up and sweep. So it was really all I had to do, like to end it. But with that, we are now, I think we're four and two. So we're doing pretty good for ourselves. Next week we do take on the Phantom Michael, that it's the last week before the playoffs. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash the like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and get to watch around the PC party. Share it with your friends, follow me on Twitter at PC Bowmaster. Join the Discord, link is down below. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm PC Bowmaster, and I will see you guys next time.